been almost 20 years since Gwen Shamblin was big news in Middle Tennessee. That all changed earlier this year when the Christian diet guru died in a plane crash along with leaders of her Brentwood church. Her story then garnered national attention with an HBO docu-series. Our Phil Williams provides some investigative insight on this big headline from 2021 that goes back decades. It is my prayer for you to be born again. Gwen Shamblin's story was a story longtime News Channel 5 viewers may have remembered. I'm from Denver, Colorado, and I've lost 196 pounds. About how her Christian diet plan, The Way Down Workshop, to come home to true religion that is simple but powerful, morphed into what became her own church, the Remnant Fellowship, located in the heart of Brentwood. Are you a prophet? I don't believe I know what my gift name is. So I, I will tell you, I'm still wrestling with that. I've been told that for years. It was a church that some saw as a cult. For wisdom is more precious. And the 2003 child abuse death of a remnant child led to even more questions about the church's teachings on child discipline. Hey, everybody, we here and uh, Joe's uh, the pilot. But if people had forgotten about Gwen Shamblin, we are conducting drone missions uh, for search and rescue. The whole world would be reminded in late May when her small business jet slammed into Percy Priest Lake shortly after takeoff from Smyrna. Everyone on board was killed, including Shamblin, her husband, one time actor Joe Lara, and five leaders of her remnant fellowship. You know, this is the difficult one because it affects a lot of lives. At the time of the crash, documentary filmmaker Marina Zinovic was putting the finishing touches on an HBO documentary series that would expose Shamblin's story to an even wider audience. And it really took time to process it because it was so shocking. Um, we decided to that we had to open up the series and 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 put the plane crash in and continue filming. How members of Remnant behave is a bit like Handmaid's Tale and Stepford Wives. They want you to be clones of them. It's all about appearances. The docuseries, which aired in late September, was an immediate hit and was immediately denounced by the church as, quote, absurd and defamatory. I mean, she practically handed Michael and I's inheritance away, but le let me tell you. <laughs> Yet despite what Shamblin and her family had claimed over the years, New Channel 5 investigates obtained the Remnant Founder's will, a will that leaves potentially millions of dollars to her two children. How much money was left to Remnant Fellowship? Uh, I've looked at the will a couple of times and I haven't seen any. In fact, less than two months before marrying Joe Laura, Shamblin had divorced David Shamblin, her husband of 40 years, splitting properties now worth more than $20 million. Among the properties that the woman of God got to keep in her divorce, our investigation discovered was an elegant beach house here in Destin, Florida. A house that was described in real estate listings as Gulf Front living at its finest. Located right on the Gulf of Mexico, this was Shamblin's beach home with its four bedrooms and five baths, located in a gated community known as Destiny by the Sea. Property records show the Shamblin's paid almost $2 million for it in 2010. It's now valued by Zillow at more than $4 million. Do you swear or affirm testimony about you giving this matter, the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? I do. News Channel 5 Investigates also obtained video from a 2019 deposition in a child custody case stemming from Joe Laura's prior relationship. I think we're probably the most highly investigated church in the, in the United States. There, Shamblin was questioned about the controversy surrounding Remnant Fellowship. Are you aware that a lot of folks have, at least online, expressed that they think Remnant Fellowship is a cult? Check to the form. I'm not aware a lot, it's kind of like, so a lot of people know, and you'd have to define a lot. Controversies that dogged her in life and now follow her in death. Phil Williams, News Channel 5 Investigates.